feels like robots are slowly taking over and replacing everything that humans used to do. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. And now there's robo bartenders that mix yeah. your drinks. Ooh. Drones that deliver the pizzas and all the Amazon packages. I still yeah. want that to come to my house me one too. time. Me too. <laughs> Invite me over when it happens. Okay. Bro. Even robot musicians. Oh. Like the animatronic band at Chuck E. Cheese that <laughs> stares at you with those dead eyes and watches you eat yeah. your birthday cake. Yeah. No flash photography. Very people. high tech. <laughs> but there is one group of people that robots could never replace. Mm. Who? The people who leave us voicemails on the loser line. Oh, oh man. Oh, yeah. No amount of high-powered AI could ever be that cringy. <laughs> so this one goes out to all the humans. Yeah. Brand new batch of messages coming up at 710. Uh, hey, girl. What's up with you? Wait a minute. Is this the right number? It's um, the loser line. Come on. Just call me back. If you haven't heard the loser line before, it works like this. Let's say someone approaches you while you're out at the club and uses this charming pickup line on you. Oh, hi there. No. Did you know that there's people who say Disneyland is the happiest place on earth? Mm. <laughs> Apparently, none of them have ever been in my lap. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Must be this tall a ride. Hey. No, what? I mean, I guess I'm glad there's a requirement. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you do, resist the urge to call security and have him removed from the premises. Mm. Instead, tell him you think he looks handsome with his adult headgear at the mm. bar. Oh, yeah. And that he should call you sometime to hang out. And hopefully, later. Later on, he leaves an awkward voicemail we can play on the air. Voicemails like this one. Next message. Hey, Ashley. It's me. I uh, I don't know if I ever told you this, but I do more chai. So, you know, I can protect you. Uh. <laughs> I know you couldn't see me, but I just did a backflip right there. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was a front flip. Oh. Wish you were there to see it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> One more. <sighs> that was another back flip. <laughs> that was a good one. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to say a little goodbye with this roundhouse. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Next message. Alexis, oh, you were twirling your hair during oh, that entire yeah. message. You're getting turned up. Was it the second backflip that did it for you? It was the front flip. Actually. The front flip. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It sounds like what happens after my kindergartner watches too much Power Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. That's hey, what it this. sounds like. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Next message. Hey, hey what's up, Battle Eighty Nine? How you doing? It's ASMR two D two. You know, I'm just hitting you up because uh, we squatted up on Call of Duty and we were murking noobs left to right. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. You got real game. I'm into it because you know a lot of girls on there are, are complete dog water, but you were cracked and it's hot. I think your KD ratio is super sexy because uh, you know I'm a sweat, you're a sweat. Maybe we can sweat together, like IRL. If you want to. Sweat it out with me. Give me a call instead of Call of Duty. We, maybe we can get a little Call of Booty going. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I just made that up. I just made that up. <laughs> I don't think wow. he did. A gaming <laughs> expert and a comedian. Wow. He's been waiting on that. Yeah, he had. I feel like we need a little bit of a translator because most of what he was saying kind of went over my head. What, what was yeah. the sweating one? Yeah. The sweat means you're really good. You're so good at the game that you literally sweat. You try so hard. If you're, you're good sweating. at it, you shouldn't have to try so yeah, hard. No, right? I thought, I thought, you, I thought it's like you don't break a sweat yeah. when it's easy. No, I mean, no. A sweat means a try hard. It means you are try. You are so good and you're doing so you're many You're pushing things. your thumbs so well, fast it makes just, you sweat. Boom, boom, so many kills. This my is doing my this. gamer chair is soaked right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, gross. interesting. Well, in case you want to hear all these, we're now putting our favorite loser line of the week on the Brooke and Jeffrey TikTok. Oh, so make sure you cool. go follow us on TikTok at Brooke and Jeffrey and you can hear hey. voicemails from some of the sweatiest people around in a, a good thing. in a good way, in a good yeah. way. Yeah. messages like this <laughs> next message hey tiffany it's Kenny again um wanted to follow up about our conversation about doritos um like i said at the bar i really don't think you should be eating any more doritos a lot of people <laughs> don't want to see it but there's symbols all around us the doritos they're triangle shaped 
triangle is an ancient Masonic symbol tied to the Illuminati machine. Uh. Okay. The triangle represents this pyramid of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And on top of the pyramid, there's this all-seeing eye of providence. Mm -hmm. And I want to remind you, they're monitoring the things we eat and put in our body to use against us. Mm -hmm. So I, I know they're cheesy, they're salty, they're tasty, but every bag of Doritos you eat is giving power to the Illuminati. Just remember that. I'm looking out for you. Ooh. Next message. Oh, wow. man. You know how many times <laughs> I've been works. wondering, when are we going to get a normal guy on here? Yeah. And finally we get <laughs> one. Yay! I really want them to use their power through Doritos. <laughs> I just feel like good for them. I mean, we're kidding, but there's literally about to be text coming in any second of someone who's like, finally, someone understands. Yeah. <laughs> this conspiracies are true. Yeah, oh, Doritos yeah. are bad, but Fritos are still cool, right? Oh, yeah, they're like spirals. They're like rectangles. Yeah, yeah. That, that's twisty. not an Illuminati. Yeah. Body symbol, is it? It's only a shape issue. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're safe. Yeah. Next message. Hey. Um, I'm calling because you gave me your number, and I am I wanted to also say I'm sorry because oh. I'm really embarrassed about, you know, how things went down. Uh, you know, uh, when you were putting your number into my phone, I know, I know, I should not have reached my hand into your purse. But it, I, I thought I saw your wallet, um, like, coming out, so... I wasn't trying to take it. I, I was just trying to make sure it was pushed all the way down inside, like all the way to the bottom. You know, I swear, I, 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 you, you probably thought I was like uh, some sort of creep pulling a fast one, <laughs> uh, like trying to rob you uh, or, 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 or something, but I wasn't. I have money. I'm doing great. I'm, I'm, I, I, I shop at Whole Foods. So anyway, I'm, I'm thinking of ways to try and make it up to you. And, and I think I would like to invite you and your friend to come see my bluegrass band play. We're called uh, Harmonica Lewinsky, ah. and we're pretty good, I gotta say. Uh, very few covers, mostly all original stuff, and and, and you can leave your purse at home <laughs> as a as a uh, no, because it's free. Next message. Oh, because <laughs> it's free. The joke did not land. No, no, it did it. It did it. But don't all men know, and people in general, you just don't touch a purse. No, no I'm scared to. I just think the best band name of all time is Harmonica <laughs> Lewinsky. And they're sucking and blowing. Yeah. And the harmonica. It's for perfect. free. Uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe that was just a little too literal. Oh, my God. Do they all wear blue? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you can listen to Loser Line regularly at this time every week. And check out us on YouTube, at Brooke and Jeffrey, yeah. for more hilarious voicemails. Phone tap's <laughs> coming up next.